And today we're going to be checking out this Kimya wireless vocal set. That's right. This is a set of dual microphones that you can use for karaoke's, weddings, parties, DJ events, school events, just anywhere you need to amplify your voice. You can even use it for church use and professional use as well. So how cool is that? We're going to open it up. We're going to set it up. We're going to test it. I'm going to show you how to use it real quick and let you hear how clean it is. Now for my test rig today, we're actually just going to be hooking into a guitar amplifier and uh, you're going to be surprised. So let's open it up. I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to get. You're going to have your booklets on how to set this up. You get your actual receiver. This is the part that you're going to hook up to your soundboard or your speaker. You get two of these wireless microphones. How nice are these? Metal construction, heavy, high quality. You're going to get your cords for installing this to your equipment. You get a power cord. You get two antennas and you get two anti-slip rings. So, very, very cool. We're going to go ahead and get all this stuff pulled out. We're going to set this up real fast. I'm going to show you how quick and easy you can go from in the box to ready to go. Now this does work on 50 different frequencies or 200 different channels. It is going to have a range of 100 meters or 328 feet, which is going to give you plenty of room for those larger venues for running around. And look at these, man. You have LCD displays on here so you know what frequency you're on. So there's no confusion as to if these two are on the same frequency. And I'm going to show you how to get the cleanest setup and the quickest setup between these two as well. Now, you do have to unscrew the bottom off here and you do have to install your own two AA batteries. See how these go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this one set up. And then you just simply screw this back on. And this one is ready to go. All right, so we're gonna pull our cord out. We're doing all this real time. I'm not gonna cut it. I'm not gonna do any edits. I want you to see exactly how long it takes because it's not too often you get a setup that works this well at this price. Now you can see you have two different sets of controls up here. You have channel A, channel B, that's for mic A and mic B. And you just have your frequency up, frequency down, your set button, volume up, volume down, and power. Very, very simple layout. Then the only thing you have on the back, a power connection, and your two antennas, and then your audio output as well. So, very cool. Now, you're just gonna take your antennas, and then you just slide them on here, twist them on, and just like that. They go on super easy, super quick. Now that we have those set up, we're gonna just set this right here, get rid of this. Hopefully they're durable too, we're about to find that out, because it did just roll off the table. Alright, we need power. Let's get power hooked up. I got a cord down here somewhere. There we go. We're just going to plug this into the back. If I can get a grip. Alright, we're going to take our audio. Right here. We're going to plug it in, and I'm going to plug it into my guitar amp down here. And just like that, everything is installed. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to power on the mic. You can see it's got its own little backlit screen. And we're going to turn on the unit itself. These are <clears throat> actually going to be on separate frequencies. So what we're going to do is, to pair this, you have the set button. And this is the way you auto do it. If you hold the set button down first, it's going to go into scan mode. And now it's scanning, looking for the cleanest frequency. It's going to go through all of its different frequencies, which are all UHF. So you don't have to worry about any interference from 2.4 or the 5.8 gigahertz that everybody's Wi-Fi in the world is on. That's why they use the UHF bandwidth. 
Okay, and now it's ready to pair. So all you have to do is set the microphone down in front of this little infrared sensor. And that's going to send the signal to the mic right here. And just like that, it is now connected. This mic is now at 542, and so is the box. Yep, it's ready to go. So how cool is that? It's just that simple. Now with the up and down buttons, you can scroll up and you can scroll down to manually set your own frequency. And then if you just tap that set button, whatever frequency you, you selected is going to be sent to the microphone. And you can do that for each channel. So very cool, very easy. Now I'm going to turn my guitar amp on. And let's hope, hope we don't get any feedback. I'll try to keep the mic from being too close. Whoa. Let's try that again, because it is a guitar amp, so it is set on, it was set up for rock and roll, I'm sorry about that, I had like the, uh, the reverb and all that on, but let's see, maybe we turned all that off. Check one, two, oh, see, we're working, just that easy. Now, if you do anything with audio, you, you know it's not good with something especially that goes 100 meters to be right on top of it, but the fact that I am this close and it's not really feeding back. We're just getting a tiny little bit of feedback. I'm gonna slide back a little further, just to give it a little more room. But you can see that this is working quite well. How cool is that? And to just to kind of prove the range a little bit, I'm actually gonna get up and I'm gonna to walk towards the front of the house. And I, I do wanna remind you too that this is a guitar amp and it sounds as well. This isn't even actually made for vocals, but it's coming out this well. So let me go, I'm gonna come all the way out to the front door here. I do have concrete walls in my house and I'm actually outside at this point. And uh, let's go ahead and walk back in. There's a chance you possibly lost signal for me walking outside. Cause like I said, this I'm in Florida, it's a cinder block house with concrete walls. But if it maintained it this whole time, that's just all the testament to how strong this uh, microphone actually is. All right, I'm coming back in, so I'm expecting a little feedback again. But yeah, a very, very nice setup. Very easy to get going. You saw that it was uh, very simple to set up. You get two microphones. You can run both at the same time, of course, and it's just very good for those parties, special occasion, occasions, DJ events, and, and things like that. And if you need a good wireless mic for your church or for a wedding, this is the way to go. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.